Welcome to the Community Spotlight. I'm Cheryl Girl, your guest host for this evening, and we've got one of my favorite people on the show tonight, Charlotte's very own Dave Martin. How are you doing? I'm doing good, dear. Oh, it's good to see you again. I know. How we say go that. back for like 300 years. Yeah. Yeah, way, way back. When uh, when I walked in, uh -huh. I didn't have the memo. When I walked in and saw you, I was like, <laughs> it's going to be a good day. So you've a been doing amazing things in your, your comedy career. I know you've worked with some big names. Um, yeah. I'm going to let you do the name we, dropping. We've, we've, we've done a few things. I've... um. I've toured with Steve Harvey. I've toured with Mike Epps. What? Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> cool. Michael. Yeah, me and Michael. Yeah. Yes, you and Michael. Me okay. and Mike. Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Set you to entertainer. Um, done a few things with Michael Bazden. You know how he uh -huh. does his 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 live tours. Right. So I've done. It's been good. You know. You're dropping good. some really big names. It's been good. Well, now you've got such a varied background. I, I know you mainly as a comedian. Right. Always been on stage, always killing it. Right. I think I was there when you um, won the um, P. Diddy Bad Boys of Comedy. A co I mean, as I'm going way back on right. you. I, right, I, I right. think I was there for that. You're talking about before comedy? Well, no, I'm at talking the about beginning, at the beginning. Well, I'm talking about both of them. Okay, okay. I kind of jumped there. Okay. But I'm, I'm just saying, we do go way, way back. We do. But now, as far as, let's kind of start from the beginning. Okay. Before you did comedy, you did. Lots of things. Your name's got lots of slashes. So right. we have Dave Martin Comedian right. slash what else? Slash. Uh, I was a professional model for about seven years. From about yeah. Woo, woo. <laughs> people run into people run into me now. They're like, "Oh, you ain't modeling no more." I'm like, "Slow down, slow down, <laughs> slow down, player. I'm still modeling. I just tell jokes while doing so." Okay. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, I've always had a love for fashion, so I modeled in junior senior year of high school, right. um, on through college. Um, about till about two years after college, and mm -hmm. then there's the the, the first slash. Um, I had always had a a a you know a urge to sing. I had sang in college and all that kind of stuff, and I ended up joining an R and B group. Wait, let me just review. So you're tall, handsome, you can sing, and you're funny. Mm-hmm. That sounds like you have a lot of fun in your life, do you? I like it. <laughs> yeah, I like my life. You like your life. I like my life. So the singing yeah. part, that's kind of like with Jamie Foxx. He right. always loved music right. and always did comedy. He's, he's my favorite comedian. Anytime really? people ask me, Dave, who is your favorite comedian? Uh -huh. And I say, Jamie Foxx. And of course they say, why? And I say, well, I relate to him mm -hmm. because of the comedy and the singing background. So, so. Then, as far as the singing, what all did you do with that? Um, I was in an R&B group for about six years. The name of it was called Debonair. Debonair. Shout out to my boys, Debonair, wherever y'all, <laughs> shout out to y'all, wherever y'all at. Was that a Charlotte-based group? It was a Charlotte-based group. Oh, please um, call their names. Call their names out. Um, you know, we um, love a shout Shannon out. Wright, uh -huh. Dow Prelu. Uh, one of the original members was my boy, Juan Houston. Mm -hmm. um, so it was four of us, and then it moved to three of us. Uh -huh. um, the other three guys all went to John C. Smith. Shout out to, to the Golden Bulls out there at John Bulls. C. Smith University. Love Did you go them. to school there? I didn't go to school there, but I might as you well. You hung out. Because I used to go to uh, uh, NYSP. I, I'm not the, from Charlotte. The, the National Youth Sports, y'all know what it is. Okay. Google it. The, See, that, the Smith program in the summer. Just I'm like Google that it. with Livingstone College. Right. We were over, that's why I kind of grew up on Livingstone College's campus. I didn't go right. to school there, but I have a you know deep love for them. Right. So right. you started seeing with all these guys over there. Yeah, so, so we... Um, I was working on, I was modeling, and then I was working on some solo stuff, mm -hmm. trying to figure, okay, which which path do I want to take? So how did you All get right? to funny? How did I get to funny? Because when I was in the group, so what, once I joined the group, we did well, we did very well for about five or six years. We was in a lot of local things in Charlotte, and people would always say, man, have you ever thought about doing stand-up? The other right. two guys, Daryl and Shannon, are 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 were somewhat introverts. They was like a Michael Jackson type, right. real, you know, an extrovert with the microphone in front of them. Right. But in between the songs, they would just kind of keep to themselves. Mm. I've always been a nut. So if so, they were women, if they were like the the Michael Jacksons in the group, right. which Jackson would you have been in the group? Were you like the Jermaine? I mean, I'm nobody say, wants to be Tito. So I mean, I'm gonna say I was Michael. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay. No, you were Michael. <laughs> so we had well, the but, different sides of Michael. Except okay. for I didn't have the introvert, the introvert okay. part because. When, in, in between sets, whenever I'm always hamming it up with the ladies, I'm standing on the edge of the stage, uh -huh. making people laugh. Right. Whenever we would do interviews at the radio and, and live remotes, they would be like, Dave, you 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 do the talking because okay. you're crazy. So <laughs> people would say, man, you ever thought about doing stand-up? You ever thought about doing stand-up? My good friends have always been saying you should do stand-up, you know, because just characters and voices and all that kind of stuff. 
I was petrified of stand up. Really? Yes, because I've been to the club and seen the dude get booed off stage. Oh, that's harsh. We have seen it. That's harsh, isn't it? We have. I was like, no. Nah. I was like, I've been in front of people. I've modeled. I've seen. And but they were stand happy. up. Yeah, that's stand up. That's like going to Afghanistan with one gun <laughs> okay. and half a bullet. <laughs> wow. And you lost your unit. But you keep signing up to do it. So what yeah. is it in your spirit that says, I'm going to get up here and be funny? Because you've got to be a soldier to get up and do that. Yeah, yeah, you do. I, um, I did a lot of homework before I ever did my first night on stage, which is why okay. I think that I did well. I did very well from the beginning because I went to comedy clubs. I used to go to the Comedy Zone here in Charlotte. Shout out to the Comedy Zone. And back in the day with... Um, back in the day with, with Tone X. Shout out to Tone, Tone X. X. Shout out Tone to Tone, X, yeah. who helped raise me. Shout yeah. out to DS, who helped raise yeah. me. Shout out to comedian Nick Lewis. All of these oh, guys yeah. helped raise me up from a pup in comedy. And I used to go to the Comedy Zone on amateur night, you know, and sit in the back and take You're notes and notes. wonder, okay, this person was good, but they were so scared, so they didn't really get it out. Right. Or this person... You know what, they need to go back to their day job. Right? <laughs> they suck. And this person got booed, but they got booed because, you know, they didn't keep, and I just, you just take notes. I did it for about eight months. So there's a science to comedy? It, so I say it is, okay. but every, every journey is different. All right. I say it is, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of comedians who have done no homework. They just, you know, they just take a shot and go on stage or, or they just go on stage can people keep doing that just like or do you eventually you get to the point where you've got to know some of the science of it you know what i can only speak for me i number one i'm ocd <laughs> I think so i'll just everything i'll just life. put that out there okay. so i was already <laughs> like okay i've been successful with modeling i've been successful with singing i'm not gonna do this and crash and burn okay so but but i will say this the first time that i went and did amateur night i didn't tell nobody Oh, you just kind of slipped you in. You know what? You know what? That's not true. I told a couple of white people. All right. <laughs> wait, wait. Look, Dang, look, Martin. look, look. Why I only, love why us. only the white people? I, I you love, got to explain listen, that. Listen, I love us, but we <laughs> are rough. <laughs> so th is there a difference between a white audience and a black audience? You know what's funny? It's flipped now because mm. now I think I actually like telling jokes in front of my people instead of or more so, not instead of uh -huh. more so, more okay. so than say a mainstream room. Right. I can I can do it all. I can do church. I can do mainstream. I can do eighty nine percent white. I can do ninety seven percent black. I can mm -hmm. do fifty fifty. But in the beginning, I was like, you know what? The white people will come out there and be like, you know what, Dave? You gave it your all, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if it's gonna go anywhere, but <laughs> still but encouraging. You, yeah, <laughs> you might need that last joke you could have <laughs> kept, but <laughs> honey, didn't he? Didn't he? <laughs> He tried. <laughs> so, so, but us? Yeah. I'm talking about even yeah. in your family. Your fa Somebody uh -huh. who loves you be like, mm. look here, player, you, you didn't quit yet, did you? <laughs> you, did, you? You didn't quit, right? right? Okay, yeah, you need to go on back down to the truck stop. Yeah, get, get some more shifts, because wow. this, you're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I did a lot of homework mm -hmm. and I went out. I did a lot of homework. I went to the Comedy Zone. I went to the Comedy House Theater down in Columbia. Shout out to them. Mm -hmm. I went to Charlie Goodnights in Raleigh. Those three comedy clubs, I just bounced around before I did any jokes. Before just with a notepad just... in the back watching. Okay, you were why serious some, about that. Why someone it. did good, why, why I thought they did good, why someone did bad, why I thought they did bad. Mm -hmm. Somebody just needed to just let it go, period. I lived in an apartment complex at the time. This was before I got my house. And you know, in the apartment complex, it, in the in the in the workout room, you got that mirror on the wall. Yes. So in the middle of the night, I would go down there, and start working on what material, what I thought was material, you know, because I wanted to see myself. Because uh -huh. I said, well, this is how the, this is what the mirror's the audience. That's what they're gonna see. That's interesting. So I did that. I probably did that in the middle of the night for about three months. And mm -hmm. I'm sure some people might have drove by there and looked in there and been like, <laughs> I don't know what that black dude is doing in there, but he a little touched. Mm, yeah. He just in there just, just. <laughs> right. <laughs> Woo! And then, who was he talking to? He ain't working out. I didn't even have on workout clothes. Wow. I probably should have, if I had to go back, I probably yeah. should at least put on some shorts or something. And, some gl and the workout Kinda, gloves yeah. to make it. But I'm down there dressed like this, going ham in front of the mirror. <laughs> right now, somebody's still wondering what you were doing down there. That right. is real crazy. So, so I did that and it went to the Comedy Zone. They used to have amateur night on Thursday nights. It wasn't the Apollo type, uh -huh. but they did. the audience did choose the winner. Right. You would get five minutes. Five minutes to a new comic, any comic will tell you is an eternity. Really? Oh so my God, I can't even <laughs> introduce myself in five minutes now, but five oh. minutes back then, 
was a long time. I did a, the first time I went, um, and I think I have this on my website, the first time I went, I won. Oh, wow. I went so out the very, I okay. went out the very next week and did a whole different five minutes, which is huge. That's big. What? A brand new company. Yeah. Did a whole different five minutes and won again. And mm. a few of the, what I call the regular, the regular amateur nighters uh -huh. was running up to the management talking about, oh, 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 I don't believe this guy's lying. He's not, he's not a new. He's not Oh, they new. were hating on you. Oh, hateration. The other amateurs were hating on he's, you. He can't be new. <laughs> it's too natural. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> Get him out of there. Get so him they, they if this, out. If this had, well, they didn't kick me out, <laughs> but the management was like, look, you're going to call some of our other people who are bringing paying customers uh -huh. to stop doing amateur night. Oh, wow. So you can't do amateur night anymore. But what you can do is we gonna start just letting you host. So they started hiring me to to host on the weekends. Well, but who goes from amateur night to hosting a comedy show? I mean, you know, I was I was blessed. Uh, yeah, well, I, I was blessed. I, I I put a lot of work behind it, but I was I know some other people who who have moved fast like that. I do. Really? But I I was blessed. What's well, crazy is that was right before the Comedy Zone closed mm -hmm. from Independence. Um, it kind of came all of a sudden. It closed, and then I think they were closed for maybe a couple of years, and then they moved to College Street. Right, I, I don't know that. if you remember that. I know, I remember. They moved that's to the first College place Street. That I ever saw a, um, a Jaeger machine. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? The yeah, Jaeger Meister machine where they yeah. give you that. See, that's yeah. you don't find that over the. the you know, no, I no, hadn't no. seen that before. I thought yeah, that's, that was that's white people stuff. That yeah, makes that's... comedy funnier. Yeah. That's... <laughs> Shout out to the white people out there. Yeah, Jaeger Meister. Because y'all go in. FYI, black people, stop drinking with white people. Why? Don't do it ever again. You drink with white people? Oh, I drink with everybody. Oh, sure. Stop. I'm down. Don't do I'm it. Don't do it no more. Don't Why? do it. Why? If you're going to do it, make sure you do it and make sure your husband is there. Oh, yeah. Don't do it there. no more. Because right. you drink enough with white people, you're going to wake up the next morning on the curb somewhere. <laughs> and had a cop going, ma'am. Ma'am. Oh, no. Ma'am, those are a beautiful pair of Christian Louboutins, but I only see one. Where Wait, is they off? <laughs> That's either a really good night or really bad night. Ma'am. Ma'am, can you tell me who the president is? Yeah. Ah, Bush, the first one. Oh, my God. Call the medic. You are crazy. <laughs> can't drink white people. You can't. We think we can drink. We can't yeah, drink. Just, okay. I'm right there. Where do you think right. white boy wasted, white girl wasted came from? I don't know. It came because white people drink more than we drink. <laughs> right. You never heard nobody say, we're going out tonight, we're going to get hood rat wasted, we're going to get black girl wasted. They yeah, say, okay. we're what? going out and we're going to get white girl wasted. Okay, okay. Now you, I, 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 you're right. I've what do you think? Before. What do you think? Chuck, 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 Chuck. 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 Where you thought it came from? Well, I went to Carolina, so that was like a mating call. It was there. a mating right. call, but it was originated. <laughs> originated. From some drunk <laughs> white boys. Okay. Somewhere in the world. <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't even know there were so many rules to drinking. I mean, it ain't I rules. No I'm not giving you rules. I'm giving you suggestions. <laughs> suggestions. That's what I'm giving you. If you want to wake up in your own bed. Black people, <laughs> we like to wake up in our own bed. Okay. Or at least a bed of someone but that we you, know and are familiar you with. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're right. <laughs> you know, that. You know, my white friends, they be like, bro, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> Who? How did I get home, bro? Okay. Who, Larry, did you bring me up the stairs? I don't remember anything after that third shot, bro. That Jägermeister. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now you've done a lot of different, um, we've worked with a lot of different comedians, and we've talked about different audiences. Now, I know that you've also toured outside of the United States. I have. Now, how, now where, where, where did you go, and how was there, you know, different for I was. I, I've done. Uh, I've done London. I've done Germany, and I've done Amsterdam. Wow. Uh, Amsterdam. That Amsterdam. had to be fun. Amsterdam. Is, Amsterdam. That's Amsterdam a party is, right is there. awesome. Amsterdam is awesome. Now I know Amsterdam gets all the press for you know, the, bra the fun, the fun yeah, brownies yes, and, the, yeah. and the legal weed <laughs> right. and the red light district and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. I'll be honest with you. I'm not. I'm not a weed smoker. I never have been. Mm. Um, I did not go to the red light district. I just love really? Amsterdam. The people. You're like the only person in the world who went to Amsterdam. Who didn't go to the you red didn't light smoke district? Any weed? And you go to the red I light? Did, what? What, what did you do in Amsterdam? Then? Okay. Really? Okay. Let me toot my own home for a minute. <laughs> Uh, shout out to my mom and daddy, Mary Martin and Hole Martin, because they didn't mm. have no other babies. Right. So, for having said that, right. I ain't need to go to the Red Light District. I'm, oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm good looking. <laughs> you are absolutely right. I'm you, not going to the Red Light District. You ain't get to buy it. <laughs> Amsterdam, really, if, have you been? I have never been, but I want to okay, go. Okay, put it near the top of your bucket list. Really? 
Because I have a friend who went last year, and all she talked about was people, drinking great beer the and people, getting spanked. That, of course, that too. Mm -hmm. But the people there are absolutely, their whole spirit, their spirit is just, listen, I think people won't be mad at me for just keeping it really, really real with this right here. Okay. I love this country, okay? Yes. I'm glad that I was born in this country and I, I, to be an American and have all the opportunities that it has afforded me to be here as a citizen. Especially as a handsome one. Well, <laughs> just messing. But, but. but we as Americans are a bit pretentious. Okay. We are a bit materialistic. Mm -hmm. We are, uh, we do care, I think, too much. Sometimes myself, I have to get, I have to stop getting caught up in it. We care about what others think too much. We care about appearances too much. Mm -hmm. Once you go to Europe, lots of places in mm -hmm. Europe, I found that also in, in, in the UK and in Germany. Mm -hmm. They just, hey man, let's just live life. Let's just have a good time. Really? It, I'm not, when I say good time, I mean not even necessarily about the weed or drinking. Let's just, just have a good life. time. Let's just have a good time. You know, most of the people in Amsterdam and, and lots of places in Europe, you know, they don't drive cars. They don't drive the big cars that we have. You see tons right. of people on bikes. Okay. I mean, bicycles. Bicycles. Bikes. Like, yes. for real. Bicycles. It, I was yeah. there in the winter. And it was on snow bike? on the ground. Listen to me. It was snow on the ground. Okay. And it was a dude, <laughs> clearly a corporate guy. I saw this, like, this was rush hour. A bunch uh -huh. of guys getting it. In suits. In some slim fit suits. Ooh. European Ooh. suits with a little... You know how we had how the old people had a little basket on the front? Yeah. They didn't have a basket on the front. What, what they have? They had a child seat on the front. And wow. the little baby in there just going, just. So, because they're going to make a stop at daycare first right. and then go to the job. Right. They have child seats on the front of a bike like we got them in the back of our cars. Well, well, let me ask you a fashion question because aren't the European cut suits tighter, slimmer? Yes. So, that's like a tight suit on and a they bicycle were still on the bike. with a baby in a basket. Yes. Before you even get to work. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. Swagged out, styled Swag out, <laughs> slim fit suit with the Argyle socks, you know, okay. Kohan shoes. We need more of that. Get, I, getting it. Can you see that on Beatty's Ford Road? No. No. Shout out to Beatty's Ford. I grew but up how would it be? I mean, if we did, I could, I mean, I could see what well, we got to that. We had bike lanes no. on Beatty's. No? No. And I'm going to no. be honest with you. I'm going to no. be honest with you. Uh, I'm not married yet. <laughs> and as much as it sounds good, as much, I'm, I guess I'm going to be a bit of a hypocrite. Uh -huh. As much as I'm talking about it. Right. You ain't going to see my black tail riding down Beatty's Ford in the bike because I can't get a date that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see your fit, boo. Yeah. <laughs> but child, boo, where's your car? <laughs> see, there are rules. Yeah. Don't make eye t contact with with. Men on bicycles down, down. If you're in your car, why are you looking over there? But That's like a woman rule. A, gr a grown man yeah, on a bike. Yeah, no. Yeah. Mm -mm. If you don't have on, like you're fully, yeah. you have all your bicycle gear on and yeah. you're not on an expensive bike, we should, I shouldn't be looking over there. I'm not looking right. at the mirror, I'm just saying. Of course, of course. General rule for General, life. General Is that rule bougie? For life. No, that ain't bougie. Let me yeah. take it a step further. Let me take okay. it a step further. That's not bougie. Okay. Let's take it a step further. Any grown men out there uh -huh. who are over the age of 30, Right. If you are riding a bike and you don't have on full bicycle Olympic aerodynamic <laughs> gear, something is wrong with your life. You're making mm. some bad choices. Because yeah. he's not on the bike just yeah. for exercise. Yeah. yeah. He's on the bike because he yeah. can't get a, a that, car credit loan nowhere. That, That's why he on that the bike. DUI. Yeah, he can't. <laughs> so you're yeah. being nice. It ain't even a DUI. He can't get a loan. <laughs> It ain't even in the U.S. You are being very kind. Okay, yeah. It's not a it's not a healthy lifestyle choice. Yeah, when, it's when a you credit see, issue. When you see like a fifty something year old <laughs> dude in the hood riding a bike and it's not even in that good of shape and he wow. got a brown paper bag on the front. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> Larry. Well, that's something I never really understood when I see people, you know, on the bicycles, and they've got cell phones. I mean, I know that that probably doesn't make sense out loud, but I'm just thinking. You're on your cell phone on, on the, the bike. bike. Right. Somewhere in there, it seems like there should have been a better decision made somewhere. Well, well think you about know? it this way. Most of the time, if they have a cell phone and they're on the bike, there's a couple of things happening. It's yeah. either a boost. <laughs> <laughs> it's either a boost. Please or, don't make me cackle or on it's camera. A, or it's a prepaid <laughs> from Walmart. <laughs> Okay. That minutes are going to expi expire mm. in the next 48 to 72 hours. And so they're watching the minutes. And that messes up your rap with a woman. And you, you oh, like, no, that don't mess you, up your rap. No, you have no rap. Oh, okay. No, you right. have, <laughs> what you, what you, 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 you going to say? What you going to say, baby girl? He goes, my number now. I'm going to need you to call me quick. Cause <laughs> who knows what's going to be going on with this come Thursday wow. at 6 o'clock. No, that's <laughs> not cool at I re all. I remember, funny phone story. I remember <laughs> my nephews and my nieces and everybody in my family can attest to this. 
I fought getting the smartphone. Remember when the smartphone started to get slick yeah. and everybody had? I mm. fought it. Why are you I fighting? I was the last dude. Progress. I was the last <laughs> dude that was cool, in my opinion, walking around <laughs> with a flip phone. Oh. Now I'm gonna oh, take wait. it a step now further. Put a year on it. Put a year. What, I'm gonna take this. When's the last time you flipped the phone? I ain't gonna lie. I think I was still phone flipping. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was still phone flipping <laughs> around about 2010, ooh, 2000, ooh, no. and definitely 2009. Wow. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to take it a step further. Well, I had a Nextel flip phone. Wow. Now think. That was big. Were they no, big? No, think. Okay. You got to pull the antenna out on a oh. Nextel. <laughs> <laughs> so then it was... <laughs> yeah, this is Dave. Wow. <laughs> My boys was like, bruh, <laughs> if you pull that antenna out one more time. You're going to make me have asthma attack. <laughs> one more time, I swear to God, I'm going to break the antenna <laughs> and smash your entire phone. Oh, my God. I forgot I about that it. Phone. I fought it. Next tail ain't never what? had no sexy phones. You remember that was the that was the that was the chirp. Remember that was the yeah, first? But I thought I thought there was like some type of association that you might be kind of cool because you're handling business. Cause it was like the only way you was cool with a next tail was if you owned a construction company. That's what I'm thinking. And I associated could talk, that with. You could with, talk to your workers. Cause it was like a walkie-talkie-ish right. type of phone. Right. Right. Wow. Okay. Right. Yeah. No. No. But clearly, phone. I'm not a construction it, worker. No, you're not. Nor have I ever. Can the camera see that? I have. I have not even. I don't even like to cut grass. Right. So I. <laughs> I am not a construction worker. Okay, so now, okay, <sighs> there are different types of men since you're bringing it up. Uh -huh. You're that cool, dressed up type of dude. So there's certain things you you just not just not gonna do. Just not in your playbook. I, That's not one listen, of an issue for you. Listen, I am not. I'm, ladies, I am not gonna help you hang a shelf at your house. Mm, you're not ever, that dude. ever. <laughs> I'm talking about Jesus will come back twice. And I'm not gonna help you hang a shelf at your house. You know why? Cause right. I suck at it. Okay, I was like, you, you have just... to know your limitations. All you're gonna do is you're gonna get mad at me, cause, cause I'm gonna hang it and you're gonna put the level on it. It ain't level. Yes. Then you're gonna put something of importance on that, and it's gonna <laughs> fall and break the sheetrock. Then you're gonna have to pay somebody to come yeah. undo, unfix what I messed up, and then refix it. Well, so I say, know. so I say. Just you know, go on Craigslist or and 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 find you somebody who know what they're doing in the first place. I'm lucky because both of my <laughs> brothers are phenomenal. Really, carpenters, phenomenal. So you can call them, say, hey, bro, I literally, bro. Yeah, Come I can call this shelf up for yeah. you. Yeah, and I'm gonna pay him. I ain't gonna try to, you know, I ain't trying to get the brother discount. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna lie. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody out there was like, now, see, now you're not being black. Now, right. see, now you, I'm gonna need you to turn your black card in. Now you gonna call your family <laughs> and and not ask for a discount. <laughs> Cause you know you always have to ask for the hookup. Yeah. Whether they're family or not, because yeah. what See, is life without a good hookup? Lucky, lucky for me, I don't really have to ask for the hookup because I've already, I got some credit built up. Uh huh. Okay. You know how you be like, remember, remember when you was in Mooresville and you um, <laughs> got broke down and you didn't have a spell or a jack. And you came. And to I it. came to Mooresville. Yes. <laughs> and I was out and I had a suit on and I came to Mooresville with another tie. Was it a tight European cut suit? Of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. of course it I had was. To, listen, listen, I have to give a shout out to my to my to my niece and my nephew. I have to. Okay. I have to. My my, my niece Shamari, my nephew Jared, uh, and I and I they 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 was like, Unk, Unk. I mean, you got style, you do. Right. But we're gonna need you to slim them suits up. And I fought it. <laughs> I was like, I've been wearing these wide legs, killing them forever. Get out of my face when I like when I. You remember Steve Harvey used to wear them? Even he don't yes. even wear them no more. No, he doesn't. Even he slimmed up. So I used, I said, Mama, I, I used to walk in the room and it just. <laughs> my nephew was like, Okay, Uncle. <laughs> your butt to a store wow. and slim that up. Because wow. he was like, You know, you have to. And I'm glad they did. I love them to death. Shout out to my nephew Jared, and, and, and <laughs> shout out to my niece Mara, and 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 I have, yeah, y'all can go on Instagram and see. So they're, they're at, at keeping comedian you. Dave Martin, shameless plug. You can go on Instagram. I have slammed them up. They're they're keeping you hip. You gotta Stylish. stay hip. You gotta stay hip. So now you gotta stay hip. You've been doing. You've done a lot of things. So you put some time in. Mm -hmm. So now, are there other ways that you can kind of? Feel the aging process or things that you're conscious of that you they're like they bother you now didn't bother you before. Do you feel yourself I'm a, older because you you look the same? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be, be perfectly honest and 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 there are a lot of people that can 
that can confirm what I'm saying. Mm. I I do not feel my age. And I'm saying that, let me say that, let me say before that, let me say thank you, Jesus. And mm. let me say I'm blessed to, I have put work in to try to, try to stay healthy. Mm. I have put the work in, but I don't feel my age. I don't act my age. I mean, in a good way. Right. No, I know exactly what you way. mean. Um, I don't think my age. I really don't. My people in my family will tell you. They they'll tell you. There's like he does not act his age. So I, I it's I have an incre- incredibly young spirit, um, and I feel like if you're gonna be an entertainer and you want to try to make moves, because I got started in comedy late. You know, mm-hmm. I didn't start at 22. I started at 32. So wow. one, so so if you're gonna be an entertainer, you gotta stay healthy and you gotta be able to run around. You can't be looking decrepit. Yeah. I mean right. I I mean. We didn't make the rules, but it just, everything flows to young. Everything. Everything. Does. Everything flows that, to young and hip, and you can do splits and you can <laughs> jump high <laughs> and you can do a back flip. Everything. Yeah. And I didn't make the rule. I just have to adhere to it. And you're doing a very good so, job of doing that. Thank you, dear. So now, thank what you. are you working on now? I'm just, you know, actually, I'm working on getting me. Uh, I'm, I'm actually really working hard to get a a, a, a big boy management company. Okay. When I say big boy management company, I mean uh, one of the management companies that 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 are in New York or LA. And most of them are in New York, LA. They probably have a London mm-hmm. office or a Paris office. Those are the type of companies where you hear about sitcoms and you hear about stuff before anybody else does. Right. Social media is great, but if you really want to make that leap, you gotta have some people that know some stuff and that you don't know people. before everybody know. That makes perfect sense. You understand what I'm saying? You have to have it. You do. You have to have it. Some of these companies, not some, all of them, the big boy agents, if you go on their websites, they don't even have a way for you to contact them. That's how that's how closed it is. You, they'll find they'll you. They'll find you. Or sometimes you can be referred. Mm-hmm. You can be referred. And even on the referral, it's probably going to take them six months before they pick up the phone. But they basically will find. Trust me, the people who are managing anybody we know now that's doing it, Steve Harvey, Kevin right. Hart, they didn't go search. None of them went searching. The and management company found, found them. them. And Dave Martin, Dave Martin, I absolutely believe that they will find you. Oh, I believe it. I want everybody to follow Dave on Facebook, Twitter, all of that. Thank you so Thank much you. for being on the community spotlight. Thank you for I'm having Cheryl me. Girl. You join us again next week.